Hey guys, welcome back. Um, today I thought I'd make a video about this little guy, um, the Hammerhead Crew 2. It's now been a year since I've owned and used it, probably almost daily. Um, and I just thought I'd share a few thoughts, um, some pros, some cons, and I added one more category, their hin or theirs. Um, just things that are kind of not great, not bad, you know, maybe they could improve in the future. Um, so yeah, here's, here's my list. I've heard a lot of other users tower battery life as a bit of a problem with the Karoo 2. Um, I'm actually gonna add battery life to my here nor there category. It, I find I comfortably get 10 to 12 hours um, and I'm rarely going for a ride much longer than 12 hours. Um, and then at the end of the day, I'm, I'm gonna be charging up my device if it needs to be charged anyway. Um, if you're doing rides over 12 hours though, firstly, good on you. Um, but definitely not me. Um, so yeah, battery life I find is actually not a problem for me. The second here nor there for me is the weight and the size of the device. It is probably double the weight of Oahu Element Bolt, which I have here. Um, in fact, uh, the manufacturers put this at 132 grams which is pretty heavy for, for a device, but um, I think I am willing to sacrifice a little bit of weight um, to get the functionality and the features that this device has over um, a, a more basic, smaller device like this one. Though if I was just purely racing, this one would be the Wahoo Bolt or something smaller like a Garmin 530 would be my choice all the way. One of my pros, is definitely this beautiful screen. Um, it's super bright and it definitely brings out the best um, in terms of uh, color and potential that this device could bring. Um, I think it's 16 million colors or something like that. And I can tell you it, it works. It's great, looks awesome. You can see it um, in the sun, just to whack the brightness up. Um, the colors are great. Couldn't really ask for, for much more. Um, in, a, in a small head unit device like this one. The next pro is uh, definitely the responsiveness of the device. It runs very similarly to a, to a phone, really. I mean, I, I, look, I'm not the biggest tech nerd in the world um, when it comes to electronic devices, but I can say this is plenty responsive enough um, when you click things on the screen, the touch screen, is in the right spot um, and it loads pretty snappily. Maps are pretty good, you know, pinch and zoom, very similar to a to an iPhone or, or an Android phone. Um, so yeah, no complaints in, in the touch screen and, and kind of the user interface of the device. Everything's in a sensible spot. It's pretty easy to find. I've never, you know, gone trolling through menus for any longer than I have to to, to find the setting that I want. Um, so yeah, big ups to a, uh, Hammerhead on the on the user interface design. Now my cons and look, every device I've ever used has cons. So you know, take that as you will when making a, your own judgment. But the biggest con is the Karoo mounting point. It is one of the most terrible mounting points I've ever used, and it's completely over engineered. You know, a good old fashioned Garmin like a K Edge or a, you know Garmin mount like Wahoo mount like on the back of Oahu, they worked perfectly fine. They really didn't need to reinvent the wheel here. I'm actually onto my third device, which Hammerhead have been really good in replacing, but look, I've probably lost maybe a month total in having to send the device back to what Hammerhead, then getting a new one shipped out. But what happens is these little tabs on the back here, they break when you're taking it off of the, um, off the mount or when you're just riding along. They're, it's really quite a thin piece of plastic in here. Um, and for such a load bearing point, it's such a poor design. Um, they just really didn't need to, to try and reinvent the wheel. The quarter turn mounts have worked for years and years and years. They should have just run with that. Fortunately, they provide you with this little um, Garmin adapter. And now that I'm onto my third device, I just, run that, that third, um, that Garmin adapter in there. And I've just gone back to using all my old Garmin mounts on this device, which is unfortunate. 
but it is what it is because I can't afford to send this back to Hammerhead again to get another replacement because it leaves me um, without my device and my training device for for a month or you know two to three weeks. So probably one of the negatives of this device um, has to be its boot up time. It's quite slow, um, definitely compared to some of the other devices I've used in the past. I feel I'm waiting probably in excess of a minute um, every time I want to boot up the device. And I understand there's a fair bit to load on this running Android and, and um, it's got plenty of features and, and heaps of software in there, but I still would love to see them optimize this boot up time um, in the next model, uh, just to make that a bit quicker. My last con with the device is probably the price. It's pretty expensive. I think it was about 640 Australian dollars um, compared to the, it's the new version of this Wahoo 11 Bolt, but um, that device, I've seen it for 430 and I've seen it for as low as $380 in some instances. Um, you know, that's nearly half the price and I don't think you're getting double the functionality um, with a hammerhead device. In saying that though, if you're really into your bike packing or if you're really into long days in the saddle, exploring roads that you've never been on before, I definitely recommend this device. The navigation on this is 10 times better and the screen is really easy to read on the go and you can make adjustments to your route and you can actually use the device as uh, like Google Maps on your phone when you get lost or take a wrong turn um, as opposed to the element which is very, once you've loaded in your route, that's the route you're gonna be staying on because it really only gives you left, right navigation. If you're just using the device to train or to race or to, you know, do your bunch ride, that's the same loop every single week and you really don't need those navigation features, I would save your money and go for, for a Wahoo or a Garmin 530. I think that they're plenty good enough um, and they do give you those navigation features for the few times where you might need one. Um, but for an all-round device, this kicks it out of the park. Um, big ups to Hammerhead. I'd love to see him fix that mounting issue um, and keep rolling up rolling out updates you know every time a new update comes out you get a new soft feature um, in the software and you know some, some good things to play around with good new um, profiles good new um, data screens and I, I'm loving seeing them them roll those out every two to three weeks so good work Hammerhead um, keep doing what you're doing and um, looking forward to a Karoo 3 if you ever um, make one and uh, feel free to 